video. Welcome to Mike's Retro Tech and the Retro Tech Loft. Today I've got another rare piece of software for you. This is Hyperball, which is a game by Taurus Software. And as you can see, I'm running this on MAME, and um, this is the folder directory, and this is the file that you run, I suppose. Yeah, this is Hyperball. So let's try this. This is a game that I found recently. I don't know where it was. It was it was somewhere in the collection that I'd got. And, and oh, um, right, it shouldn't do that. What the heck? Um, that doesn't look right. That looks like a Spectrum, doesn't it? Wow. Um, it's quite funky though, that. Right, let's start again. Let's reset it. And let's see whether or not it was the actual file name itself. So what else have we got on here? We've got H, H1 and Hyperball. Right, let's try H then and see what happens. Mm, oh, right, okay, different. So that's, um, yeah, different colours. Okay, one final try. What else have we got? We've got H1. We've not tried that one. Let's try that. Right, is this going to be more successful? Fingers crossed. Yes. Okay, there we go. So, Taurus Computers presents Hyperball. Now, I don't know what this is. Look at that crack by Melkor, really. They had crack games on the Einstein. That's amazing. Right, Hyperball. We press 1 for joystick. No, we press 1 for keyboard. And what does this look like? Oh, okay, this looks like... Arkanoid. Right, so it's P and Q for left and right, and I think space. Space to release the ball, maybe? Yes, oh, there we go. Oh, gosh, it's really slow on MAME, on MESS. The key input's really laggy. As you can see, I'm not very good at this game. But it looks quite a lot like Arkanoid with the, um, what looked like then was like a power up. So no music and very basic sound effects. See there's a power up. Let's see if I can get one of these power ups eventually. No, it's, the input lag is very bad in MAME. I might have to try this on a real Einstein. Yeah, it's really not good. But it appears though that when it's been cracked, it's actually get infinite lives. I mean, look at that G9, what's that about? Bats, G9, hmm, G8. Okay, oh, there's a power up, what does that do? Oh yeah, it's like a gun. But of course I'm rubbish at this game, as you can see. Yeah, not the best in the world. Right, so it looks like G4, G3, right, okay, wow. There's loads of, there's like infinite lives. I'm not doing too bad though, 7,000 points. It's, um, yeah, it's good. But I bet it's better on joystick or on a real Einstein. Yeah, it looks like it's from a cycle all the way down to A. So we've got many. We've got 100 lives, maybe more than that. Yeah, so there we go. Well, it's Hyperball on the Einstein. Looks very much like Arkanoid. Yeah, okay. Well, very quickly, let's just try Hyperball again to see whether or not there's something wrong with it there shouldn't be oh and there you go so that works so it must be something in MAME how strange must be some memory thing but cracked by a mailer by Melkor, yeah, very strange. Look at that, skill level Belgium, what's that about? Huh, 
Okay, right, so there you go. So Hyperball by Taurus Software on the Tatung Einstein. Another game that I've only just discovered, but this one is actually released. It's not available on any of the websites. So that was like a rediscovery for me, which was brilliant. So yeah, so thanks for watching this short video. Hope you like it. Um, as usual, thanks for watching. Stay safe, everybody. Come back for the next one. See you soon. Bye-bye.